Mario Balotelli. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. A long time. The Italian striker who dazzled the world a decade ago has drifted into an abyss of irrelevancy. There was a time when Mario Balotelli was on top of the world. The Italian striker is blessed with undoubted quality, but unfortunately, he also has a bad boy image, unmatched by many in the football world today. So where is Balotelli now? The 30-year-old signed a new contract that will see him playing in Turkey for the 2021-22 season. Wh what A 30-year-old playing in the Turkish league for a newly promoted team? Well, that is a truly massive fall from grace. But before we find out more about his new team, let's go backward and figure out what happened to Balotelli and how did he get here? Where on earth do you start with a player like Mario Balotelli? If he's not playing football, he's at the center of some forlorn controversy, getting himself in trouble when really, he should know far better. Whether you like him or not, it's hard to argue with the fact that he's an incredibly entertaining man, one who has had the honor of playing for some of the best clubs on the planet. When Mario Balotelli produced a virtuoso display for Italy against Germany in the semifinals of the 2012 European Championship, it seemed he was destined for stardom. At that time, he was age 21 and the future appeared in his hands. Reality, though, has hit Balotelli hard. When casual fans think of Balotelli, they probably think he's still playing for Brescia in Series B. Little do fans realize that he has played very little football since he left Brescia in 2020. He started his career with Lumazane in Italy before joining Inter Milan in 2007. It was at the San Siro that he broke on to the world scene. Balotelli was called up to the first team by Roberto Mancini, whom he considered as a father figure. However, his disciplinary issues often created more headlines than his on-field performances. The Italian fell out with Mancini's successor, Jose Marino, who suspended the player from Inter's first team in 2009. With doubts over his career in the Series A, he found an escape to Manchester City in 2010, with Mancini coming to his rescue again. He was showing promise under Roberto Mancini, and 2010 ended with him receiving the Golden Boy Award, which is bestowed upon the most promising young player of the year. Unfortunately, his career has been dominated by rash moments, particularly at Manchester City. From his Why Always Me celebration, to being substituted for needlessly showboating against LA Galaxy in a friendly to stamping on someone's head and being sent off for a karate kick against Dynamo Kiev. Mario Balotelli's decline began after his heroics in the Euro 2012. The Italians started the subsequent campaign poorly and soon fell out with Mancini after a training ground bust off. By this time, Manchester City hierarchy had seen enough and the striker was shipped off to AC Milan in 2013. Despite new surroundings, the story remained the same. Mario Balotelli was caught smoking in a train before AC Milan's match against Fiorentina. He was suspended for three games for arguing with Series A officials. And all this while, he had been involved in various spats with television pundits and fans on social media. Subsequently, the bad boy of football was offloaded to Liverpool in 2014, with the Reds being desperate to find a replacement for Luis Suarez, who joined Barcelona the same summer. Unfortunately, Balotelli proved to be anything but that. The Italian could muster just four goals and 28 appearances for Liverpool, who promptly sent him back to Milan on a season-long loan deal in 2015. He continued to put in underwhelming performances for the Rosaneri, often plagued by injuries and bad form. The striker returned to Liverpool in 2016, but new Reds boss Jurgen Klopp had seen enough of him as he was sold to League One outfit Nice. His excesses would be tolerated a little more in France, particularly at a club like Nice, where players of such undisputed quality do not come without baggage. Whether it was out of patience or necessity, Nice were rewarded as Balotelli's confidence and goals returned. A career-best 15 were returned in just 23 League One matches in his first season. 
Then he hit the self-destruct button once more. Amid a contract dispute, he failed to net in 10 League One games in 2018-19 as his sulky side resurfaced. During his three-year stay in France with Nice and Marseille, Balotelli found his scoring boots again. However, he continued to be plagued by his lack of discipline. He was given multiple bans for misbehaving with the referees and for kicking out at opposition players. He was even subjected to racist chants which further angered him. After finishing the season at Marseille, he headed back home to Italy in August 2019 to play for Brescia. His time at Brescia was marred by being subjected to racist chants on multiple occasions from opposing fans and missing training sessions. Brescia got relegated, Balotelli's contract was terminated, and it was off to the next club for Super Mario. Balotelli didn't find a new club for nearly six months and trained with a club in Italy's fourth tier while being a free agent. In December 2020, he finally signed a contract with Monza in Series B. The seven-month stay at Monza wasn't great, but certainly wasn't terrible. Balotelli scored on his debut and contributed six goals in 14 appearances. Now Balotelli will look to avoid relegation with his new team, Adana Dermaspor, the newly promoted Super League side. Adana Dermaspor are now the 10th club Balotelli has played for during his career. Balotelli still dreams of a return to Euro 2020 winner, Italy's squad. And he will begin his comeback with the Turkish Minnows, who are making a comeback in the top flight after a 26-year absence. And Adana Dermaspor have shown their ambition by signing the former Man City and Inter striker. He put pen to paper on a deal with the Super League side and has 18 months to prove himself to Italy boss Roberto Mancini. Life has come full circle for Balotelli, and despite having the potential of being a world-class footballer, yet somehow, his story will always be of enormous talent wasted. Summing up his tale, in brief is difficult, but in a word, it has been turbulent. What happens next? We can only wait and watch. Do you think Balotelli will be a success in Turkey? Comment down below, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more football content like this.